Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to the Merge Studio. Now today's video is going to be something a little bit different to what I normally do. This is actually going to be a series of tutorial videos that I'm going to be doing. Uh, concentrating on merging items and the different methods that you can use to actually do this. Now I'm going to go through um, all the different sorts of merges that you can do. Drop merge, foundation merge, blueprint merge, flamer merge. Uh, different combinations that you can do and I'm going to try and get a video out hopefully once a week or once every two weeks and each video will show a different merge um, probably more of the complicated ones uh, today I'm going to show you how to make a pizza oven which is something that I made in one of my camps about six months ago um, and I'm going to go through step by step show you how to do that and it'll also give you the heads up on actually how merging works. However, I do actually have a merge tutorial video, which I did about six months ago, which I'll link down in the description, which you can go to um, to check out just to get the basics on how to actually do the merges. But it will be covered as we go through this series. So to give you guys an idea on what we're going to actually be featuring in the series, you can see this little bit of a mock-up kitchen that I've, that I've built. There's lots of different sorts of merges, lots of different techniques going on in here, which throughout the series we're going to cover quite a few of these, and I'll show you step by step. But today we're going to concentrate on this, the actual pizza oven itself, and how to build the actual um, units around it and so on and get it all merged in. Okay, so first up, we need to get a fireplace and we need to place it on top of one of these units so we can merge it down a little bit. But what you'll notice is that it won't, you won't be able to get it on there because there's not enough space. Uh, the item's basically not supported. So we've got to trick the game in thinking that the item is supported. So the way to do that is, as you can see, I've just built a, a biggish island of units all connected together um, and you'll see now when I pick the fireplace up place it in the center you can place it it's supported but what will happen is that it'll only connect to one of these and if you do it this way it'll connect to that front one there you go so we've basically tricked it so next thing we can actually go ahead and we can actually drop this down and merge. So to do that, we need to use a pressure plate and just place that down wherever you want. And then we'll take this and we'll place it on the corner. Like that. Then step on the plate and pick up the unit at the bottom. And every time you pick it up and drop it, you will notice that the fireplace on top is sinking down into it. So this is a drop merge, basically. So you can step off, take a look. And I think we want to go probably one more on that. You could probably go two more, but yeah, I'm quite happy with that. So there we go. That's actually merged as far as I want it to merge at the minute. So next, we're going to go ahead and do the next part. Right, as you can see, the weather's took a bit of a turn for the worst. So much for building outside. But anyway, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to do the unit parts around it. How to build, have them floating, basically. And to do that, we're going to use your camp item. Then, we're going to get these items stacked on top of each other. I had a blueprint, but just stack them on top of each other. And then pick that up and place it on your camp item. Or your camp box, whatever it's called. And you'll see, every time you drop it on there, it'll make a gap. And the top item will float, basically. Now, I do this about 12 times. I count as I go to get them all even. So I drop it 12 times, and then, yeah, you can place it anywhere. There you go. That's now technically floating. So we've created the top unit for our kitchen. I've got loads of them already pre-built, so we're ready to go on to the next stage. So the next stage is we want to get this into position. Now, don't worry about these that I've got here. These were just like a, an indicator for me to where this is going. 
So you just pick that up using the bottom unit and place it. Now you've got to remember that you're going to have units at the back of this as well as probably a wall in there. So, you know, line it up the best you can. Uh, and yeah, like so, I think that's okay. And then next, what we're going to do is we're going to use a flamer in the tra and turrets and traps and we're going to destroy this because we need it destroyed. So place it down and just activate. There you go, that's destroyed. Now to the next bit. There are pre-built units that I'd done earlier and you'll notice that they'll actually snap to the one that you just destroyed. So even though it's destroyed, these will still snap to it. So do the front ones first, snap one either side. Then what I'm gonna to wanna to do is, I'm gonna keep this one just quite small. So I'm gonna put the end units in. I'm gonna put one that side and I'm gonna connect one the opposite side. I'm gonna do the same here as well. Place them on. Then I'm gonna fill out the back section. Again, these all just all snap. Like so. Then I'm gonna repair this. Like that. There you go, and I'll repair that as well. So technically, that's your pizza oven part completed. But I've missed something. Basically missed out the extractor. And I've done that for a reason, because if you build it this way, the extractor actually sits perfectly in a perfect place um, by having the back units there. So all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna remove them two front units, and then I'm gonna find what I'm gonna use for my extractor, which I'm gonna actually go to appliances and I'm gonna use the uh, Eatertronic device, just cause I like the bottom of it. And then I'm just gonna line that up with the top units as well. It can be a bit fiddly and you may not always get this right. And it can be slightly out sometimes, but I'm gonna just place it roughly this time, um, which I think that's gonna be okay. Then, now that's in position, I'm going to have to use a flamer again to destroy the fireplace so I can put these units back in. So, again, use the flamer, destroyed that. Then these units will now just snap straight back in, not a problem. Then I can go ahead and repair everything that I've actually destroyed. So, repair the back one, repair the front one, repair the fireplace and you'll see the extractor is now in place. And pretty much, oh, it just, sometimes when you use a flame off, things disappear, but they're still there. So just go into your build menu. But as you can see, there you go. That's roughly how to do the pizza oven with the extractor. So that's it guys for today's video. I really hope you enjoyed it. Um, please press the like button and subscribe if you haven't already uh, to keep up to date for more videos that are coming out. and. Next time I do a Merge Studio video, which hopefully will be next week, um, I will go ahead and probably show you some foundation merges as well as a continuation of the kitchen and some of the other techniques that I use to get certain things merged. Mm -hmm.